I still can't get over the music here. Like, it kind of sounds like we're celebrating something, does it not? <laughs> it kind of sounds happy and upbeat. And as all the people slowly die on the ship, and you can hear the screams as they go down. But it's fine, we got a nice uh, little band playing here. We're gonna make a ship disappear instantly. Three, two, one, click. Oh, that wasn't that bad, but it blew it right in half. Can I make it completely through it? All right, here we go. Girl, we did it. <laughs> Hello, YouTube. Modal Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Floating Sandbox. And yes, folks, it has been a hot minute since we played this game. But there has been an update and we have three new awesome tools here. So if you look in the top left, we have the blast, which is essentially a big explosion. Actually, I think you can adjust the explosion. Uh, but yeah, it's a blast at your fingertips. Unlike the remote control bomb or the, uh, say like the impact bomb, it is a instant explosion, which is really cool to see. So the next is an electrical spark. I haven't played with this one yet. I want to say it's something kind of like the lightning. Maybe it has a, a bit of a different effect. And then third, we have the inject and remove pressure so you can inject pressure on the ships that's the big part of this update is that the ships have pressure now uh so yeah you can i'm assuming inject pressure until the ship explodes i haven't really tried that yet and then you can remove pressure so that kind of brings us to the next thing with the update so if we were to move the ships underwater now they'll build up pressure and explode i think it's called hydrostatic pressure it's kind of cool so say we grab the titanic here uh, and let's release and oh look at that it instantly kind of blows up there in the middle now I think there's uh, ways to manipulate this uh, We'll kind of see what we can get into here today But if you guys are excited for some more floating sandbox be sure to hit that thumbs up button and uh, there goes the Titanic We've already killed it. What is it like one minute into the episode? Uh, the poor Titanic. All right, so to actually show you guys the pressure here We're gonna be playing with a balloon real quick. So what we're gonna do, let's go down to the inject and remove pressure. So we can inflate this balloon. So if I go, give it a second, you'll start noticing that the balloon's getting a little bit bigger. It's getting a little bit more firm. That's just a, a really good demonstration as to what's happening here. And I think of, of course I can reverse this by holding shift and that'll deflate the balloon. Uh, can we inflate it until it explodes? I really want to test this on a ship. All right, so it's definitely getting a little bit bigger. Uh, I'm kind of hoping it flies away. It's kind of stuck in the water here, but yeah. But yeah, that gives you a visual as to what's happening here. So we can always use the blast to pop it. Let's go, boom! Oh, <laughs> that's kind of cool. Now, I really hope the ships pop like that. All right, so we're back with the Titanic. Let's see if we can inject this with air. Do we have something that shows us the pressure in here? You know, there is a probe. I don't know if it shows pressure. Let's get the physics probe and go click. All right, so we're getting all sorts of science information down at the bottom. Consider the following. Uh, let's see if changing the pressure on this thing does anything to it. Okay, look for cracks. Look for anything that's going to happen here. You know, I feel like it's going to take a lot of pressure for this thing to explode. Question is, does this pressure thing work with ultra violent mode? Uh, let's check that out. Also, by the way, you're gonna see some new settings here. So all the tools are now adjustable. Flow. Let's kick flow up to a thousand. And then let's add the ultra violent mode. There we go. All right. I have a feeling this thing's gonna pop pretty instant. Let's go. Oh! oh! <laughs> you can inject enough air into the Titanic to pop it like a balloon. That is so cool. Man, there's something wrong with me. All right, let's try that with the balloon. Let's go. Oh, it pops it instantly. So was it the ultraviolet mode or was it the flow that we had going? Let's go and turn off ultraviolet real quick. Okay, so let's try to expand it now. Oh, it's definitely the flow. All right, let's turn the flow down a little bit. I feel like we went overboard there. Also, it just exploded when it hit the water. Uh, That was something. All right, so default was 1.00. So let's increase the flow by like times 10. So get it right around 10 here. Let's see if uh, it'll blow it up really big now. All right. Oh, it's definitely really unstable now. But look, oh, it's already got a hole in it. 
Man, I really wish we had a pressure readout. I bet you there's something in the game that tells you like how much pressure is on a certain object. Okay, I could totally spend all day uh, inflating the Titanic like a balloon and watching it explode, but I feel like we should probably play with the other tools here. So let's get the uh, Carnival Glory. Oh, this is a laggy boy. Uh, that's perfect. You know, I kind of want to inject this one too. No, Komodo, play with the other stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and try maybe the electrical spark. So... This isn't like the lightning. Oh, wait, what the heck? Wait, can we short out the lights on keep shocking? Where's the engine or the generators at on this? I want to see if we can actually short this thing out. By the way, let me show you the difference here. There is a uh, lightning, so it's alt L. So it's just a big strike. So if I go, see, it, uh, it does do damage on certain ships, depending on how strong it is. But yeah, this is totally a different thing. But let's see if we can increase this real quick. Yeah, I don't think there's actually an adjustment for this one. Uh, other tools, that's the rot tool. Huh, well, I guess we do have to go into ultra violent mode here to get this to work. So let's go ultra violent, okay. Is that, oh, it's definitely spreading, but I don't think we're knocking out the power. Oh, we just caught it on fire. Oh, the ship's getting really hot. So you see where the, uh, where the red is? So if we focus this, we can potentially melt the ship with the, uh, with lightning or electricity. Oh, we just hit something there. There we go, we've knocked out the uh, the power. Oh, it lags a lot less now. All right, let's keep hitting it in the same area. You can see it's starting to turn red. It's, it's kind of black right around where the actual electricity is, but up near the fire, this thing is totally melting. Oh, there's a hole in it. Dude, we're gonna melt this with electricity. Uh, she's starting to fill up with water. We're gonna sink it like this. It's a big old thing to sink too, so it's gonna take a moment. Approximately 10 hours later. Uh oh, there it goes, it's starting to crack. The lifeboats have completely melted. Oh, we're splitting it in half with electricity. There's just too much going on here. On, oh, keep lighting it up. All right, all right, it's gonna start cooling now. Okay, on, oh, let's watch it go down. So I'm assuming since it's open, I don't think it's gonna quite crack underwater here with the hydrostatic pressure i could be wrong like but i think something has to be kind of sealed for that to actually implode so say like a submarine i wonder if we can inject it with enough air to finally make it pop underwater and oh this is cool looking i still can't get over the music here like it kind of sounds like we're celebrating something does it not <laughs> it kind of sounds happy and upbeat and as all the people slowly die on the ship and you can hear the screams <laughs> as they go down. But it's fine, we got a nice uh, little band playing here. Uh, come on, you could go down faster. You know what, I'm very impatient. Let's just move this down here. All right, does it crack? No, it's just gonna fill. So, that's a thing though. Really deep ocean too. I like that, I like that a lot. All right, this thing is still an incredible laggy boy. So, you know what? We can always, you know, I really want to just rip this thing apart real quick. I was going to use a blast on it, but I feel like the blast, it's while it being really cool to be able to like set the explosions off immediately. I want to see this thing get hit with the antimatter bomb. So let's go click, 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 click. This is too many clicks. We have a, uh, we have ultra violent mode on. We might not want that on. There's a potential. We are going to crash the game here with this many clicks. Now this is fine. Put a couple up on the stack there. All right, are you guys ready to see this laggy mess? All right, here we go. Oh, what the? Uh, yeah, ultra violent mode, and that was not a thing we should have mixed. Um, but at least everybody probably died instantly. So, I mean, wait, where are they going? Uh, all right, so we have another uh, nice cruise ship here. This one isn't quite as laggy, so I think we're gonna test out the new. Uh, blast tool here. So let's make sure, let's go back to default settings real quick. I don't want this to be like OP. All right, so this is the blast tool without any adjustments. Actually, is that a little person there? I thought there was a person standing there. It's just uh, something on the lifeboat. So here's the blast tool. Oh, sounds like a laser. Oh, you hold this down. So it's not quite an instant explosion. So let's go. Oh, so yeah, it creates like this little ball. So watch, boom. Wait, is there a reverse setting to this? What would revert? Oh, so the alternate, the shift, it's a lot bigger. Holy man. 
that's already really devastating. Like, if you turn that to ultra violent, it's just gonna instantly explode the ship. Ultra violent? Oh boy. Let's do the normal click. Oh, wow. All right, let's go to shift click. Oh, that's cool. Let's go to a radius of 15. And let's just go to max force here with ultra violent mode. We're gonna make a ship disappear instantly. Three, two, one, click. Oh, that wasn't that bad, but it blew it right in half. I mean, I like how I said it wasn't that bad, but we literally blew a cruise ship in half. All right, here we go. Shift and, oh, wait. There's a potential you can move that through the ship. So as you're moving it, Oh, you totally can. Yeah, the ball gets bigger and you go whoop right through it. So we can take out a ship in one hit. This is like a controllable Thanos snap, which there is a Thanos snap in the game. You just hit, uh, is it J or is it, maybe it's T. Uh, of course it's Q. So if I hit this, it goes and everything just disappears. So this is essentially the same thing, except for it's a lot quicker. Yeah, this Thanos snap is slow. I mean, it gets the job done because it goes through the thing completely, but the blast radius is amazing. All right, here we go, making the ship disappear. Oh, on, it didn't do anything. Oh, there we go. Wait, what? Wait, why did the Thanos? Huh? Huh, I think we just broke the game. I went to it from the left and then you saw that like the Thanos snap appeared on the uh, far left side. So I hit it. I don't know, I'm confused. Let's do it again. So if I go, boom, so I shoot through this side. Okay, it didn't start eating away at it on the left side like it did before. So can I make it completely through it? All right, here we go. Girl, we did it. <laughs> All right, so we totally have to over inflate the Goodyear blimp, right? Like that would make sense. This is, I think somewhat like the balloon. So here, let's go. Are we on ultra violent? We are. Uh, Let's just do it in ultraviolet real quick. Oh, okay, that instantly popped it. Are my other settings still up? Uh, hold on, let's go to other tools. Oh yeah, the, nope, never mind. hold on. Are they set, yeah, they're set at times 10. So let's revert all this. So it's gonna be back at the normal flow of the injection. Let's see what it takes to pop the balloon. So, oh wow, it pops quick. All right, so what if we reverse the pressure? So here, this would be taking pressure out if I hold shift, right? All right, so now we're taking pressure out of it. So is it still gonna collapse? Come on, do something. Uh, I don't, hold on, it's getting more unstable. It's actually starting to move quite a bit. Come on. Okay, so taking pressure out of this thing isn't doing anything. We also need to get a submarine out and see what happens when we uh, increase the pressure under water because those things got to be like perfectly balanced. Uh, yeah, nothing. But if I increase it, it explodes. Okay, there's a lot to learn here. I'm taking everything in. If you guys have any suggestions, comment down below. Maybe stuff that we can do. All right, so we have the, uh, the Red October here. So let's go ahead and let's increase the pressure on it. All right, this is in ultra violent mode. So at what point does this thing crush itself? So, wait, would it be increase? Yeah, increasing should pop it, right? Wait, what the heck? You guys see that? It changed the bubbles there for a second. Uh, what if we decrease? Uh, yeah, let's, uh, I think we're gonna need to set this up a lot higher here. So let's set it up to like max inject. So let's inject it. Okay. Yeah, I can't get this to do anything. I feel like it's safe. Man, the one creation that's actually safe from Komodo. Congratulations. Actually, I said it was safe. You know what? I feel like we should uh, maybe uh, give it a little electrical spark here. There we go. Oh, that was probably something in the electronics. Uh, you can see it heating up. You know what? Let's heat it up underwater here. Let's go ahead and get the heat blast. Okay, there we go. We're making it nice. Oh, something just exploded in the back. Yep, you cannot escape Komodo's wrath. So how would you get a submarine to pop? Would it be injecting it with max amount of pressure? Or would it be taking away the pressure? And there's probably some science stuff that I'm not familiar with, but there's probably some experts in the comment section. There always is. I'm not 100% sure what we learned today. We learned that, you know, you can put 
a lot of pressure in the Titanic and pop it like a balloon, which is great. So we learned that. And we learned that floating sandbox is still really awesome. If you guys want to see more, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button. And we will see you guys next time.